Now Excel comes with some specific stock interrogation charts, I assume will be the best choice of describing them, that allows you to graph stock movements, opening and closing and volumes on a nice, pretty decorative chart. Now in order for that to work, your data must be in a specific format. Now it has a number of stock types and your data can be separated as per the stock worksheet we have. So here we have some little mini tables. Dates are down the left. That's just the first of the first four months of 2013. They don't need to be dates. They could be stock names. So it could be Walmart, CNN, Facebook, whoever you've got your stock with. First lot of information just lists a high value for that day or for that stock, a low value for that day or that stock, and then the closing value for that day or for that stock. So if we want to chart that, in a stock chart, we would highlight the data as normal. Go to insert and the stock charts are in this little section here. And those are the four stock charts. Now we hover over the first one. It does give us a preview. That's a straightforward stock chart to show lowest and the highest. And if we give that a click, we can see it shows us in our chart here, a bar for each day, high point, the low point, And then the closing point is that little marker there. Now, just like all the previous charts you've created, you could then pick one of the chart styles, like this solid blue one. That's quite good because it shows the close point much more prominently as a little up triangle. And then you can see how close to the highest and the lowest point your closing point was. The other chart types have different indicators for that closing point. But I think personally, I'm seriously going for that blue one. Although the black inverted one looks quite good. Now let's stay with the blue. And just like previously, you could change colors by running through the schemes. Ooh, the green, the green. Let's stay with the green. I'm just gonna resize that so it's quite small and place that by grabbing the chart area just over here. So that's charting this little table here into which I could change the values. So perhaps the high point in April the 1st was actually eight. And you can see the graph responds and rescales itself. And the low point was actually only down to 1.5 with the close on our graph, not far above the low point. It might have closed at 2.6. It moves up a little. So that's been able to graph high, low and close. Now, if you want to throw in a bit more information, such as the opening point, then we would add another column in with open. Now you need to make sure that when you are doing this in Excel, the data is in the right order. So in the first little choice, it's high, low, and close. Then in the second stock chart type, it's open, high, low, and close. So I would highlight my data again, insert into the little stock option, and we're looking at the second graph type, open, high, low, and close. One choice there gets me the plain graph, and I can see that the chart actually doesn't make much sense because it's trying to graph the open, high, low, and close values, where I want to graph each date. So I need to switch the row and column. Then it looks correct. So these are each of the dates or each of the stock names if you're doing it on stock names rather than dates. The bar shows the high and the low and then the close point is shown as a bar and the open as the bottom of that bar. So the difference between these two shows you the difference between the opening and closing values. Again, we can choose a different style. I could use my little solid style there and change that into an orange one. So the dates go across the bottom, or stock names. The bar represents the movement of your stock on that date, with the rectangle showing the open and closing difference, so the difference between the open and closing point. Here where we had a high of what, five and a low of one, that gives you the long white line, and the difference here between the open and the closing is 2.5 to two, which is demonstrated on the graph. Let's Move that little chart over by grabbing the chart area and we'll resize that one down a bit smaller as well so we can fit them all in to one screen. Let's just rename that one. That's high, low, close. And that one is open, high, low, close. So then we come to our third little table of stock information. This one has four columns, but the first column is not open anymore, it's now volume. So we highlight our data, insert stock, and it's the third type. Now again, 
it's not using the correct axis, so I need to do switch row and column. And here our vertical lines represent the high and the low points, and the big blue bar behind, so this is a combined graph really, represents the volume. So the volume is mapped on this left hand scale, the high and the low points are mapped on this right hand scale. Let's go for a dark style this time, and then we can move that up, fit nice and neatly there. But this particular chart is volume, high, low, close. My labels are getting longer and longer. Now the last stock option here at the bottom adds in effectively a combination between these two because it has the volume option, but it also retains the open option. And we need to go to insert, stock, and what you'll find is it won't let you actually pick this one because of the switch in rows and columns, really I ought to have had the column headings as the dates or the stock names, and then I wouldn't have to switch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the previous one, switch rows and columns, and then change the chart type to move up to the fourth option. So it's just tricking Excel into moving to the right place. So we're now looking at volume, open, high, low, close. Okay. So our volumes are the big blues bars again. The high and low are the vertical lines, and then the difference between the open and the close, the rectangle on that bar, with the top point being the close and the bottom being the open. Let's choose a trendy style. Let's go for the big solid color and change the color. Let's do a dark blue. And we'll resize that one. So we have four charts, all looking at different stock information, but being able to graph that stock information very, very cleverly and very, very easily, as long as you have your data in the right order and the right format for Excel to spot what you're trying to interpret, which will then give us the ability to do a high, low, and close, the easiest one, open high, low, and close, volume high, low, and close, and then the last one, which is effectively all stock tracking. Now, your labels can be dates, as we've done here, the first of each month, or they can be stock names. So the names of companies that you have stock in.